updated with confirmation, USC and UCLA made it official Thursday. The schools are moving from the Pac-12 conference to the Big Ten conference in 2024. The jump, which both schools confirmed late in the day amid swirling media reports of a deal in the works, is the latest major disruption of the college sports landscape, which has been altered by players gaining rights to name, image and likeness, NIL, revenue and the rise of the five conferences I. While the realignment would apply to all sports, football controls the vast majority of the dollars flowing to schools from media rights. In USC's statement today, it noted that the school's move date is effective August 2, 2024, enabling both schools to remain in the Pac-12 conference for the duration of the Pac-12's existing media rights agreements. Over the past three years, we have worked hard to ground our university decisions in what is best for our students, USC President Carol L. Folt said in the school's official release. With the Big Ten, we are joining a storied conference that shares our commitment to academic excellence and athletic competitiveness, and we are positioning USC and our student-athletes for long-term success and stability amidst the rapidly evolving sports media and collegiate athletics landscapes. We are delighted to begin this new chapter in 2024. said UCLA Chancellor Gene Block and Athletic Director Martin Jarman in their own statement. For our fans, Big Ten membership equates to better television time slots for our road games, but the same number of home games either at the Rose Bowl, in Poly Pavilion or other UCLA venues. We will make efforts to preserve our traditional regional rivalries and are pleased that our crosstown rival, USC, will also be joining the Big Ten in 2024-25. While we are fierce competitors on the field, we have a rich tradition of collaboration that we look forward to continuing. Both USC and UCLA kept mum about their plans earlier in the day, when the move was reported by numerous outlets as effectively a done deal. Bay Area News Group had the first report about the reworking of the conference. It would certainly decimate the West Coast's Pac-12, which has struggled in recent years but historically has been one of the elite conferences in college sports. Without two large schools in the nation's number two media market, the remaining roster would be headed by Oregon, Cal Berkeley and Stanford in terms of national recognition. A shift will have significant media business ramifications. The Big Ten, which actually has 14 schools, is one of the biggest revenue generators in college sports, especially in football. Its current media rights deal, worth $2.6 billion, is due to expire next year. Fox and ESPN both currently air Big Ten football, but the conference has been in talks with a number of other outlets, including screaming giant Amazon. 